All right, who's ready for a content piece? Woo! All right, so I don't even have a title for this. Um, but this is the value chain. Who all here has heard of the value chain? All right, a lot of people. Um, so as a CEO, uh, I'm thinking, all right, what's my vision? What's the bottleneck holding me back from my vision right now? Where am I leaking money in my business? So it's in one of these six categories. So the value chain is how to turn a stranger into a lifelong customer. And I'm either leaking money in awareness, lead generation, sales opportunity, closed sales, delivery, or upsell and referral. So usually starting out, it's always with awareness, right? People need to know that you exist. People need to know that you're a thing. And then when you have eyeballs on your stuff, you need to get them on a list. You need them to be a lead. You need to get them to opt in or with Facebook, you can just add them as a friend and they're pretty much a lead, right? So then when they're a lead, you need to present a sales opportunity to them. You need to get them to your sales funnel. You need to get them on a phone, phone call. You need that sales opportunity to be presented. Once it is, you need to close the sale. Once you close the sale, you need to deliver for the client. Once you deliver for the client, you need to upsell or refer or get a referral from them, right? So I'm always thinking, I wanna be here. Where am I leaking money? Where in this process am I leaking money? What do I need to do to fill that gap? Who do I need to hire? What system do I need to create? What do we need to focus on? If you read up on Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, they're always talking about focus, 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 right? Vision, where's my bottleneck? Focus on that, eliminate the bottleneck, money starts pouring in, right? So examples here uh, for closed sales. I brought this up yesterday. I had so many leads from my Facebook group and so many sales calls to do, and then I took them all and literally got sick and then I was like, I need to hire this out. I can't handle all these sales calls. So I hired Grant, and we literally doubled our revenue in two months. Yeah. Boom, crush that bottleneck. <laughs> uh, for some people, it's delivery. They're building out that course, and they just like take forever to build out that course and get it done and get it complete. So delivery is the bottleneck. But once it's done, you feel more confident to move people through the process uh, and, uh, and move them through the value chain. Does that make sense? Any questions on that? So for this presentation, we're gonna go over the first three steps. How do I generate awareness uh, organically on Facebook? How do I create a lead? Uh, and how do I present the sales opportunity? Does that sound good to you? Yeah. All right. So first up, how do I find, or how do you find your ideal clients on Facebook? and own their attention without using any paid ads. So this is the awareness portion. First step, this is how I started. Identify five to seven target audience Facebook groups where your ideal client is hanging out at. Simple, identify the keywords that your ideal client is searching for. Type them in Facebook. Go to those Facebook groups. Add every single, add yourself to every single group that your ideal client might be at. Then you go in, and you check out which ones are the most engaged, and then you focus on those. You make yourself known by making various types of posts that we'll go over. Um, little caveat here, the best groups to source leads from are paid groups. So you buy a course, you buy a paid membership to a group, that's where buyers are. They've already invested in something. So whenever I invest into a course, it's always ROI positive. Like, I pay $9.97 for a course and I get a Facebook group where there are 3,000 buyers already that might be my ideal client. Cool, I'm gonna post in that group all the freaking time. Um, I almost said 
the F word. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck. Uh, I was hiding that. Don't tell me. It's a secret. Um, so, you identify those target audience Facebook groups. Then you go into those Facebook groups. Little ninja hack here. The first uh, post over here, it's in your workbook. Um, this generated over 600 reactions and over 200 people in my group in one day. Who would like that? 200 people organically in your group in one day. Uh, that's pretty fun. So this was in the ClickFunnels group, super engaged community. Um, and how this uh, post is structured is I'm telling my story. I was here. Now I'm here. It's very inspirational. And then I make it look like a testimonial for that group or that admin. That way they don't remove it. You're giving them value by giving them a testimonial, and people are like, oh, this person's awesome. So I said, uh, I host all my funnels on ClickFunnels, I host my website on ClickFunnels, I don't anymore, uh, and uh, I host my clients' funnels on ClickFunnels. Uh, thank you, Overlord Russell Brunson, for all you do. So, yeah, that generated over 600 reactions and uh, 200 people in my group in one day. People that react with it, people that comment on it, friend request, friend request, friend request, friend request. Then, um, this post, super easy. Uh, we work really well with course creators. Uh, we kick ass if you have an audience uh, and if you have a course. Oh my god, uh, we can help so much. Um, so I asked, who's the course owner here? What do you help people accomplish? Calling out my ideal client. People love to talk about themselves. Give them an opportunity to talk about themselves. Hacking the algorithm. Get more engagement, you get more reach. And that got over 200, or that got exactly 258 comments. Friend request, friend request, friend request. They're all course owners. They're all my ideal clients. Next strategy, list migration. Let's say you have uh, lists already, so email list, YouTube, Instagram, what have you, LinkedIn. Move them to your Facebook group. Create a Facebook, only, uh, Facebook group only lead magnet. So a PDF, a super awesome guide, or a super awesome video on how to accomplish X and it's only for your Facebook group. And then, you come up with five other reasons why your ideal client would wanna join the Facebook group. And then, you heavily promote your Facebook group to your other lists. And you get a shit ton of people in your Facebook group in one day. We had a, uh, actually Kyle has a shirt on right now, uh, Man on Fire, wherever he went. Um, we worked with a, a company called Man on Fire. They had an email list of 13,000. Uh, we sent a couple email list blasts out, um, and uh, they got 1,700 people in their group in less than 24 hours. So if you have a list, move them. Move them to your Facebook group. All right, interview swaps. Um, a lot of my, a lot of hot buyers come from interviews that I do either on podcasts or in other groups because you're seen as the authority immediately because that person that's interviewing you, their audience uh, knows, likes, and trusts them and then it, that know, like, and trust is transferred to you. So get on interviews and do interview swaps. So if you can't, if people aren't just reaching out to you for interviews, ask for an interview swap. Build a, build a small audience first and say, hey, I have this audience of 300 people, 500 people, 1,000 people. I'd love to interview you. Cool, get them on the interview. And then, hey, 
I can provide this value to your audience. Do you think that would be helpful? Yes, awesome, cool. Let's do an interview in your group or on your podcast or uh, on your YouTube channel. So interview swaps work really, really well. Cool, does that make sense? You see how you can transfer people from another list to your, uh, or to get awareness? Does that make sense? You know how to get awareness in other spots? Awesome. So how do you turn that mass attention into leads, lead generation? So before you do all this, you need to set up your profile funnel. Is there anybody that uh, doesn't know what a profile funnel is? All right, cool. Um, so I talk about this all the time on my trainings in my Facebook group. Um, that's a pretty sexy uh, Facebook page. I got an awesome graphic designer, uh, Lexi Rogers. She does all this. Um, you can hit her up. Uh, I can, I'll, I'll post her stuff uh, in the Facebook group for the live. Um, and she makes these banners and these featured photos uh, for us. Um, and they're really awesome. But what the profile funnel does is it takes somebody that's creeping on your personal profile to your Facebook group. So there is an option to uh, join the Facebook group by clicking there. There is an option to join the Facebook group by the button used to be there, but now it's here. So we actually switched that up. Um, so the purpose of the Facebook uh, profile is when you're posting in other Facebook groups or directing people to your profile, then they see it, they click the button, they join your Facebook group. Cool? You want to make it as easy as possible for people to do that. Boom. Super important, 5,000 friends equals 5,000 leads. Add a shit ton of friends from uh, your uh, target audience Facebook groups. And if you reach 5,000, uh, people can start following you. So the friend requests that you do not accept become followers. And you look pretty badass when you rack up a lot of followers and it adds more social proof. So I don't deny any friend requests. I just let them sit in the queue and they become followers. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. And the cool thing is getting them as a lead instead of um, having them opt in for a lead magnet, you just have to hit the friend request button and then they consume your content for free, right? You, you didn't have to pay anything to generate them as a lead. Absolutely free, you just hit add friend. Then, to move people to your Facebook group, you added them as a friend, copy and paste message. Purely, you can go deeper, you can send voice messages. I'm just lazy. So a copy and paste message, purely value giving, tweak it, move it around, figure out what works best, and send a message to people in Facebook Messenger after they've added you as a friend, and just say, hey, I have this super awesome group. I saw that you're into, for us, like digital marketing. Um, this is what I've done. Uh, I would love for you to be a part of the group. Here's the link. Thanks again for connecting, and let me know if you have any questions. Copy, paste, send off. It's a numbers game. You send out 50, about, f about half will actually click the link and, and join the group. Send out 50 a day, you have 25 people in your group every single day. You can grow your group super freaking fast that way. And you could put a VA on this as well. So, look at that sexy man. So, uh, we talked about this yesterday, Jeff Miller got 600 people in his group uh, in one day, and it was from this post. Um, so this is actually in your workbook as well. Um, I think in the workbook, it has a link in the post. He edited that post and put the link in. Never ever put a link in your posts. Facebook wants people to stay on Facebook, so if you put a link in your post, uh, they'll get pissed and uh, not show it to as many people. So he made this post, and then he responded to the comments to get people into the group, and then he went back and was like, oh, people are still commenting, let me just put the link in there. And then people naturally just started going that way. So make this on your personal profile. Um, 
And this will move uh, people from your profile to your group, and you just need a Facebook group only lead magnet, right? Little ninja hack here. As soon as somebody joins your group, you can figure out if they're ideal client. A lot of people waste these questions. But what we do is first question, where are you at? Second question, where do you want to go? And do you need help with that? Third question, give me your email. So we know that you're at 10K per month. We know you want to be at, uh, at quarter million in the next year. Cool, we can help you with that. And then we have a VA reach out, and if they respond, she passes them off to Grant. And then we also capture their email so we can become omnipresent. And we use group convert for that. So is Kim Dang here? Hi. Okay. Uh, so uh, Kim Dang created group convert, which takes this email, it goes to a Google Sheet, and then you can link up that Google Sheet with your email autoresponder, so it syncs directly into your email autoresponder. So it's all an automated process. Somebody puts an email in, it goes to MailChimp or ActiveCampaign, all in one fellow swoop. So you are building your email list along with your Facebook group list. And just remember, where are you at? Where do you want to go? Groupconvert.com. Group cool. Are you guys with me? <laughs> Can we get a woo? <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, so now we got awareness. We've created a lead. Now, how do we present the sales opportunity? First, we need to turn those leads into raving fans. How do we do that? We create content around what Avery went over yesterday. Create content around pain point, problem, stakes, consequences, who you are, process, proof, objections, vision, call to action. Here's some exact examples. This is in your workbook, workbook I believe. Here's uh, when I was selling stupid simple client acquisition. That was one of my first courses. Who, had stu who, who purchased that? Kemet? What's your name? I'm sorry. Marjorie. Marjorie. Shout out to you. Thank you. <laughs> so this was a, uh, a post to um, talk about the pain points, the problems that come along with um, growing an agency. So I related to their pain points and problems um, so they could understand that I understand. Um, you will be getting these slides inside of the Facebook group. I'll post them in the Facebook group. And you can click here for the problems post, who you are, results, so you can check all that out. Cool. Awesome thing about a Facebook group, any other platform like YouTube, Instagram, uh, your own personal profile, you have to post those testimonials and then your audience sees it. And inside of a Facebook group, the person who actually created the result can post to your audience so they can see the testimonial. This makes testimonials so much more powerful when it's coming directly from the source and not from you. That's the power of a Facebook group. Uh, other little ninja hack here. Um, after somebody buys our group growth and monetization blueprint course, on the second page of the funnel, after they buy it, next page, is step one, copy and paste this message into the Facebook group. So, hey, Andrew Cousy, I just signed up for the Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint at this link. Here's the link. Uh, please add me to your private members only student group. This works super well. So much social proof, people are buying your stuff, and people in your group are like, oh my god, that person's selling a lot, it must be good. And then people can scroll through your Facebook group, find that link, click it, uh, two days ago, I haven't been promoting the Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint, but two days ago, somebody just bought it. I saw a ding on my phone, and it was probably from scrolling through my Facebook group and finding a post like this. Uh, 
So how do you generate uh, sales or uh, sales opportunities in mass? You post about it. You've warmed them up. You've moved them from a stranger to a raving fan of what you do. You post about your product or service. Ask people to comment or respond back to those comments. And Brad's going to be talking a little bit more about um, messenger sales. So uh, you'll get a taste of that. You get them to comment, talk to a messenger, you close the sale. Um, so this is a longer post. This is one of my uh, master class posts. Um, this brought in boo, 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 around $8,000 from a $97 product, just on the front end, not back end sales. Um, so it's pretty cool. You grow an audience, you put a post out for any of your products, and you make money. So the other posts, people that were at the uh, pre-event mastermind know these two posts and put them out. This is a mission post. Uh, this did a little over $50,000 for myself. Uh, this is one of our clients, Jessica Lenovo. Uh, this mission post uh, made her $86,000 in seven days. So you say, this is the awesome thing that I want to help people with. Who's with me? They comment, you respond to them, you get them on a sales call or you send them to your sales funnel and you make sales. Do I have any other slides? Nope, that's it. So what I'd like you guys to do right now is come up with your own mission post if you have not done so yet. If you have made a mission post already, create a second version. This is something that you don't just do once you can do it over and over and over again, and you can change up the languaging and see what like sticks the best, right? So if you can't read this, uh, my mission post, it's my mission to help 25 business owners generate at least a quarter million dollars through online courses and coaching this year. Who's with me? I posted this a while ago. Um, but this generated 186 comments uh, and over $50,000. So right now, I'll give you three minutes to create your own mission post um, or a different variation of the mission post that you created on Thursday uh, for the uh, pre-event masterminders here. Um, does anybody have questions on how the hell do I do that?